I get a lot of questions on how do you keep your uh, sneakers so clean. I wear a lot of white sneakers and how do you prevent the denim bleeding that goes around when either you cover your shoe with a particular pair of denim or selvage denim or just raw denim for, for that matter. Um, and, and how do you prevent the bleeding that goes around the sneaker? So I'm going to go through today on some tips and some tricks and stuff that I've learned uh, throughout the years to help you prevent that. So you can wear your all whites <laughs> with a pair of raws uh, and still enjoy life when you get home and it's, it's, it'll, be, it'll be clean, you know what I'm saying? So uh, with that said, it's your boy Keezy. It ain't easy being Keezy. Let's go ahead and start the video. So the first thing I'm going to recommend for you to do um, if you're trying to avoid uh, the bleeding onto your sneakers would be that uh, I would test your the denim that you have on hand on something that's white, whether it be a napkin, whether it be like some kind of a towel or some kind of fabric that's white color, not your sneakers obviously, but uh, just something that of a lighter color and I would say rub up against it and see if the actual dye is already coming off and that will already give you like an idea of how how much it'll actually bleed. I, I know it sounds kind of strange to do this, but sometimes there are certain types of raw denims that are out there, uh, whether some of the ones that have stretch in them and stuff like that, sometimes the, the dye process, they use some kind of like chemical or something where it doesn't necessarily rub off as much as others uh, would rub off. Now, whether or not that pertains to quality, we're not gonna necessarily talk about that, but I would try that first and also take note on how much pressure you add when wiping onto a towel, onto a napkin to see how much dye actually comes off of it because that is a direct reflection of what's going to happen to your sneaker. So if not a lot of it comes off, well then you might be more safe to wear lighter color shoes. And if a lot of it comes off, then you might want to hold off and then maybe take some of these other tips that I'm about to talk about. So in addition to using the same technique of uh, taking your denim, wiping it onto something, some kind of like white towel or something like that, what you can also do is you can use a towel, wet the towel, and take the bottom of your denim, and take the bottom of your denim, and you would basically wipe the bottom on the inside and on the outside, and then also like kind of like on these outer layer, kind of high up to maybe where the stitch line is at. And I would wipe it, wipe it, wipe it, wipe it, wipe it until you're your cloth is basically like dyed blue. And after you've done that for a while, take a brand new white towel, do it one more time and see how much dye is coming off. You can do it up until there's really not that much dye. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, if I do that, doesn't that mean that the, the, the dye will kind of like come off enough where you might see fading? No, nah, you're, you're definitely not going to, especially if the, the raw denim that you bought is brand new. It's not a pre-faded, pre-washed denim, then you're, you're fine. In fact, you won't even be able to notice that because what you're doing is that you're trying to get off as much dye as possible so then when you wear something like a, a white Air Force One or something like that, then it's gonna prevent the dye from coming off onto your shoe. I mean, just more obviously, I don't feel like I need to explain that, but it is what it is. But the advice that I just gave you was more preventative before you put on your white shoes. Um, but if you already happen to have a white sneaker and you wore your pair of brand new Raws with it and then you get something like this where the dye is actually coming off on the sneaker. I don't know if you can see that right there, like in this area right here. There's a couple things that you can do. You can actually take an eraser, like your average eraser. Make sure the eraser is clean, obviously. Make sure it doesn't have like lead on top of it because sometimes it does. I would, you know, clean it off a little bit. And then I would just literally use an eraser and wipe that off. And that's actually what I do normally. Now, if that happens to not work, you know what I mean? What you can do is you can actually go out and buy actual leather cleaners. Some people swear by this. I've never ran into a situation where I really needed it that bad, but if it really does get that bad and you went throughout a whole two, three days, you wore your brand new pair of raw denim with all white sneakers for you know three four days straight you got this blue ring around your sneaker i would say go hit up your local cobbler pretty much any major city and or even small cities have cobblers where they resole sneakers or boots and they help you to clean up your shoes most likely they're going to have um, some kind of like leather cleaner if you can't find it there or if you don't even have a cobbler in your city 
then try eBay. eBay or just on the internet, just type in leather cleaner uh, and you could test it out. Maybe Amazon has some really cheap brands. Um, but like I said, I've never, I've never needed that actual technique because I, I take care of mine pretty well. Um, so I don't know an, a brand name to recommend you, but some people swear by that, uh, that technique. So if you need it, it could be helpful if the eraser is not working for you. Another example, I'll just basically show you guys um, a good example. So you see my forces here, they're already pretty clean um, as it is. I have gotten the, a little bit of like denim stains and I've kind of cleaned it off on these and I've worn these a couple times. They're not brand new. Um, but I mean, relatively, you don't necessarily see the, the denim on there or the bleeding. And I, I have a pair of my Raws here. So, uh, this is a sample pair I made. It's like a 14 ounce um, Haven Court uh, Raw denim. And it's like a midnight blue, kind of been sampling these. But uh, these bleed a lot. So this bleeds a lot, a lot. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna rub it on the areas where it's kind of more obvious for uh, you know the denim to, to touch. And then I'm going to show you like a quick solution of what you can do. So look, so as you can see it right now, pretty clean. So I'm just going to rub. So you're already, I don't know if you see it already. It's coming in a little bit of blue. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. I'm going to rub the back a little bit. Just kind of like the top to kind of show you and give you an example of what it, what happens like this. Now, um, what you can do is you can get a towel. I guess in this case, I'm just gonna use toilet. I'm using whatever, this is toilet paper. <laughs> or this is like tissue. Um, and you can get like regular off the shelf um, rubbing alcohol. So anyways, <clears throat> so we're just gonna take cloth and then take the shoe and then you just rub. You can already see like, boom. Right, it's already coming off. It's just literally regular rubbing alcohol. God damn, this is like, yeah, don't use tissue. Don't use tissue. <sighs> this is bad. Um, but you can already see a lot of it's already coming off, right? And I didn't do the back yet, but once I start doing the back, right? And uh, if you don't believe me, I'll just do it one more time so then you guys see. Cause I don't know if I, I don't know if I jump cut it. I don't want people thinking like, oh no, he jump cutted the clip. He filmed that part before this and that, ah, uh, uh. nah. So blue, you see it blue? For sure. Get you that rubbing alcohol. Boom, spray it on the thing. Spray it on here. Wipe. Again, don't use toilet paper or tissue cause it's gonna get everywhere. Like I'm literally breathing this in now. And then, boom, see? Do it one more time. And hold the back so it's more sturdy. Yeah, this is a, this, use a towel. Use a, use a real towel, like a, a towel you're not using, a white one. Use use that. Don't do what I'm doing. I don't know if you can see all this. Um, this shit. You see that? Pretty damn clean. I bet you if I keep going, it'll be literally just like white at the end. It'll literally be white. So, I mean, this is by far rubbing alcohol is like le legitimately the best thing that you can use as far as a solution that you can go out and buy because not everybody, you know, wants to be patient. Uh, and wear other types of denim before and then get the dye out, right? Or you don't want your, or you're washing it and stuff like that. So instead of that, just, you know, hey, boom, rubbing alcohol, boom, shakalaka. There you go, there you have it, pretty good. I mean, it's not all gone, but it will, way better than when I showed you when I rubbed my denim on there, 100%, you know, so there you go. Speaking of another technique that I don't use, but some people also swear by this, instead of the eraser, instead of a leather cleaner, some people actually take hairspray. What they do is that they'll, they'll, they'll fold up the denim like this, and then they'll spray around the cuff um, of the pant and or 
they fold it out like this and then they spray the outside just the bottom I also have heard people use the product I don't know if you guys have seen the the product whether <laughs> whether it be at the mall kiosk where they try to sell you those like rain uh, propellant type sprays for your sneakers they sell them at like Foot Locker they sell them at Shoe Palace or uh, at Champs and shit like that you can but you can find it on um, the internet I mean literally they have like Instagram ads for that kind of shit uh, but you can just you can spray your sneaker to prevent water or rain some people have told me I haven't tried it but some people have told me that they use that same spray for your sneaker for the bottom um, of their denim and after they've kind of cleaned it off and took off a little bit of the dye so then it prevents I guess maybe the dye from uh, bleeding onto the shoe now have I seen someone actually do that? No, but I've talked to a lot of like denim quote-unquote enthusiasts and they're like they swear by it and they, they say that it works. Uh, again, I haven't, I've yet to like run, run into that issue that bad that I need that. You know what I'm saying? And when we get to the end of the video, I'm pretty much going to give you the best technique that I've been using um, that kind of overrules everything that I've already said already. Like I said, bruh, it's moragano oil in the, in the, in the um, solution. It's coconut oil in solution. It's so many oils in the solution, bruh. Like, bruh, you ain't never had this much oils in your hair before. Okay, so I only have two more. Um, and my next one is going to be this, is that uh, I know this might be a no-brainer of what I'm about to say, and it might be kind of a, a dumb tip, but uh, just wash your denim, bro. Just wash it. I know people want, you know, they want that raw denim look. Now, if you want that and you want it brand new looking, well, then obviously that's not necessarily going to work. You could soak it and you could still take it out and just don't soak it for that long. Make sure some of the dye comes out and whatnot. Then take the denim out uh, and then let it hang dry. And then it'll still kind of have that crispy look if, if that's what you want. Um, and then you can still wear your, your white sneakers with it. But the other technique I was going to say is that just just wash your denim man like I, I think sometimes there's like a, a big fear with a lot of uh, people that are into denim or just getting into it and they're like oh I don't want to wash it I don't want to wash it but it's like nah you should just wash it turn it inside out wash it and uh, so then a lot of the dye will actually start coming off because obviously over time what you're trying to do is you're trying to make them fade and how do you how else do you make them fade by either wearing it and or washing it that's literally the only way that the dye is going to come off it doesn't it definitely doesn't come off by just sitting there that's for sure or you delicately like taking care of the, the actual denim itself you you need to like destroy the pans in order for them to fade and then as they fade the dye comes off and then as you keep going you can wear white sneakers or, or whatnot but I know, kind of a no-brainer suggestion, but again, this is more so for people in the long term. Wash, just wash your denim, man. Keep it clean, bro. Sometimes I've I've met people that are like like super into denim, and then like they'll go oh, damn near a whole year without washing it. The pants actually start smelling like shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. When like, <laughs> fucking get in the car, I'll be like, bro, you should stink, bro. Go. Wa I I know. I get it. You want them high contrast, you know, fades and whatnot. But bro, can you please? <laughs> Just soak it, put some soap in that bitch, and really just, you know, mix it up <laughs> because your shit's stanking right now, okay? So again, I recommend wash them, and of course it's gonna it's gonna get rid of that, that bleeding on the bottom when it comes to your sneakers. Okay, so the, the last tip I'm going to give you, which is ultimately the best tip out of anything that I suggested here today and this is the one that I practice the most and that would be to wear dark sneakers and or beater sneakers with your new raws for the first maybe like week to two weeks it doesn't even take that long in fact I've had it less I've had it like three four days in and I'll wear a beater sneaker with a brand new pair of raws like this for example like these are my beaters these things are jacked up like look at the back here like it's ripping and stuff like that like even the color of the uh, the back sole is all messed up. I got holes in the sneaker right there because I've just I've gone everywhere with these things, like straight up. And I've worked in a factory in these, and like I literally don't care about these. So if I, anytime I have a brand new pair of raw denim, um, I wear I wear these sneakers, you know. And then and some of the dye might come off. And then later on, as I change denim or change pants or whatever, 
the actual um, sneaker itself, I don't clean it. I never take any towel and I don't wipe it or nothing like that because it's just a pair of shoes that I don't care about. And I actually don't even have a ring of denim uh, around this pair anyway. And if you're probably saying to yourself, well, I don't want to wear, I don't want to wear my brand new Raws with a bummy pair of sneakers. Well, then I have a, uh, I have a, I have another solution for you. This is another solution that I have for you. I would pick a shoe that you have that is on the top that doesn't have any white on it. Um, you can pretty much wear any dark colored or suit like, like double indigo midnight raw denim with this and you know the denim can sit on top of it it doesn't matter how much it rubs on it because it's already a super dark sneaker up top and most likely depending on how you like your fit depending on what the the, the seam is right here or the measurement is that hovers on top of your sneaker it's not going to hit the white part because you know it might be tighter and it might not go low enough now if it does go low enough uh, obviously you don't want to do that you just want to avoid it touching white so if you could just bear with the patience of wearing the denim uh, with the sneakers that are darker for like three four days until you transfer and then you you wear the white sneakers with it eventually once you put on the, the white kicks it there's literally like no bleeding because all the bleeding had already gone off on the darker color shoes <music> So that's pretty much it. I mean, that's my suggestions for uh, keeping your, your sneaker clean um, of any denim bleeding. But uh, I, I would say this, like, you, you gotta have patience. Like, that would be like my last tip. Like, you, got, you have to have patience with uh, having a pair of brand new Raws within the first couple weeks before you put on the white kicks with it. Unless you don't care, you know, and then you take the eraser, you wipe it off, or you take a wet cloth you just wipe it off. The, the denim bleeding can come off, right? So if you don't care about that, you can clean it. But if you don't wanna, if you wanna avoid that completely, again, the best suggestion would be to get a pair of beaters or to get a dark pair of like newer pairs of shoes uh, and wear it with that. And just, again, have patience. Like buying raw denim from the very beginning and then wearing it for three, four, five, six years it does take a lot of patience. It's probably something that you shouldn't be thinking about like consciously every day, like, oh, I'm gonna try to fade my pants with my hands and shit like that. Like, nah, it's just, it's something that you're supposed to wear. It's something that you're supposed to enjoy. But unfortunately, within the first couple days, it can happen to your white sneakers. So if you have the patience to withstand with like literally three, four, five days, maybe a week or so of wearing the beaters and the darker sneakers, then bro, you're, you're pretty much set. Like. All the other techniques I gave you, if, if what I'm saying at the end here doesn't work for you, try out the other ones, man. Try try out the hairspray. <laughs> try out the sneaker water repellent, you know what I'm saying? Try out the towel with, you know, wiping it down and stuff like that. Sometimes that actually does really help. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna keep this video short. If there's more techniques that uh, I missed out on that I should have covered on this video, put it down below or something that's worked for you. Uh, but other than that, this video is literally for the record. I get this question too much because I own my own denim brand, so you know my, the people that buy into my brand, they're like, "Wait, are these ones going to bleed? Are these ones going to bleed?" Yeah, pretty much like 99%, like 99.999% of rolls out there are going to to bleed on you. Whether you get it from Uniqlo or you get it from you know Iron Hearts or you go to a boutique like a raw denim store boutique, and they're brand new, most likely whether it's fast fashion type of raw denim or it's like the higher end stuff, it doesn't matter. It'll most likely bleed on you within the first couple weeks or, or the first week, you know, especially with on a white sneaker. So you just gotta go through it. It just, it, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, I'm gonna end this. I appreciate y'all. Uh, it ain't easy. I'll see you next time. Peace.